Hi Libra, welcome to your tarot forecast for the month of January. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Libra, we're going to look at the current energies around you for this time. This probably will be out before January, but I intend it to be for whenever you see it, till whenever. I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So if you'd like to go back and watch past readings, uh, your playlists are below in the description box, so you can check that out if you like to. So Libra, let's see what kind of energy is around you. We may get love, we may get general energy. So we're just going to take what comes here and see what your energies are. So we're going to pull something from the Zodiac Oracle, get your opening message and then your energy clarified all with the tarot layout. And then we'll get closing energies with that Oracle. So let's see what's going on with Libra. Welcome everybody. Welcome. Hope everybody's doing well. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year or whichever holiday you do celebrate. So let's see what's going on with Libra. Let's see what's going on with Libra at this time, Spirit, please. What is going on with Libra? We could get a sign, element, or a planet. So whatever comes out here, if you don't resonate with what comes out, that is totally fine. Um, this is sort of like a little extra bonus. So let's see. Feel that is your card. Capricorn. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, or you could have Capricorn in your chart. And Capricorn does represent the devil in um, the tarot. So I don't know if that means anything, but we'll see. So let's see what's going on here. The decks are listed below if you would like to know what the decks are. A um, lot of information down in the description box if you check it out. Uh, how to reach out for personal reading, social media. I do readings on Instagram. Your playlists are below. Tons of stuff down there. So please do go check that out so what is libra 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 what is your opening message at this time spirit please for libra thank you so much what is your opening message libra what is the opening message for libra the fates so something divinely guided for you and we have 17 which is eight which is about travel action communication movement and you see the stars there. So the fates, that's all about something divinely guided. So let's see, number 17. I'm just going to read a little brief definition here in this book. In okay, case so there's a message in here for you. Fate, karma, acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing that those things, and knowing what those things are. So it could be something faded, good or bad, whatever it is here. All right, so... As with that Capricorn energy, like I said, does re represent the devil, but you know, doesn't have to be anything bad. So let's see what your opening energy is. So never ending story here, which is 73, which is 10. Tens are about endings and then one is a new beginning, but there's something here I feel with never ending story. That is kind of a situation that just keeps going round and round and round and round. There's never any ending to it. It's kind of like the same thing over and over and over, and it doesn't come to a conclusion. So you're either in a situation, person, place, or thing, where there's no, like no closure, there's no progression forward, it's just like the same cycles over and over. Or you're on a journey which is not completely ended yet. It could be a journey uh, fader for you, and maybe you're still on that journey, whatever it is, and you're not done writing the ending of that journey. So. 37, because like I said, 37 is 10. So you be, could be coming up to the ending of a journey. So, and here it is. Self-criticism, the wounded ego, unnecessary dramas. So that could also mean something. Hmm. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. A change in the wind, which is 12, which is three. And three is about teamwork, collaboration, you know, people working together, mastering something new, working at something new. Uh, compromise so change in the wind so a change coming up here uh, number 12 10 12 a change in the wind a sense that unseen change has been initiated preparation for a storm awareness that your plans are not on firm ground feeling a shift on this uncertainty about which direction the winds will blow so and that could be that never-ending story also. But something's faded here, so we're going to see what's going on. So I, I feel like, and I know, you know, never-ending stories, it can be about drama, ego, all that stuff. But 
I'm sensing here there's a change coming up for you. You're not sure how it's going to go because this journey isn't completed yet. But it's something divinely guided for you. So, so let's see what's going on for you, Libra. What's going on for you, Libra? I believe this is the after tarot, I believe. So let's see what is going on with Libra. Why is all this energy here? What is going on with Libra, please? Thank you so much, Spirit. What is going on? with Libra. Wow. <laughs> well, we got four cards here. So we have the Knight of Wands, fiery, passionate energy moving forward. A lot of fire, passion, determination, wheel of fortune. Again, something divinely guided for you. Fate, destiny, divine timing, things going right, things going in a better direction. Again, with it being 10 about completions, the fate, something divinely guided here. Better luck coming. And again, with the Three, and I had said three of pentacle energy about working on something here. Teamwork, collaboration, working on something, moving forward. And now we have the world. So again, I feel like closing a chapter, starting a new chapter. I think you're in the process of closing out a cycle, like this journey or this, maybe it's a change you've already made in the wind change in the wind could be a change you've already made and you're almost at the completion of making that change you know you're taking action you're moving forward you're working on it you know it's here the wheel of fortune is here so things are going in the right direction and you're almost i feel like you're almost at completion of this all right so what else here for libra what else here for Libra spirit, please? Thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> nine of cups energy. So this is uh, happiness and joy, fulfillment, wish fulfillment. Um, can be an energy of overindulgence. So you might want to watch that energy. You see this, this is the after tarot. So he's overindulging. So don't get in the energy of like overindulging like too much. Um, here so let's see let's see what else for libra the queen of pentacles i just seen that and i was going to pick it up and i didn't so well spirit just threw it at me so yeah being um i think you're going to have abundance whatever's coming in here uh you, you'll be very abundant uh secure and stable be able to take care of yourself you know the money's going to be coming in whatever you're working on whatever you're closing out you know things going in your favor i mean you could be waiting on money or a settlement or something like that or a new job where you'd be making a lot more money and uh i do see here being very stable so if you're in that energy of you know having more abundance than you can handle just be careful that um you don't in, overindulge too much just with the nine of cups there you may start to spend like foolishly um so watch that energy so let's see what kind of let's see what else let's see what else here for libra so the high priestess so you could be not telling anybody what's going on if you're waiting on something or maybe you may win the lottery and not telling anybody or get a settlement yeah balancing balancing out your energy you know i feel like you may have like this overabundance of something coming in and you're not quite sure what to do with it <laughs> you know it's like you're juggling it all around i feel like you may not reach out for help you may try to do it yourself you may not tell anybody because a high priestess doesn't tell anybody um so yeah b and j to me is like balancing and juggling and there you got the two of pentacles so Let's see what else here. Actually, I'll put these over here. And then we have this. Yeah, so here's the balance again. Balancing out your energy. Balancing and juggling here and then there. And now you have balance. So let's see what else. Judgment. So needing to make a decision here about this. Uh, judgment call, decision, um, about your situation. I feel like you're going to be... Like, you're going to have some kind of overabundance coming in, whether or not you're waiting on 
a settlement or you're waiting on money or you may win the lottery. I don't know, something here. Something or just a new job that you may get where you're, you're making so much money or something new and you're like, holy crap, you know, I don't know what to do with all this. And you may start to overspend, overindulge, but you really need going to have to hear balance out your energy. Make a decision here. You may have to reach out for help in this situation. So we have the three of wands. That's a period of like patiently waiting about something, like seeing something out in the distance, but it's not quite the right time. Strength. So needing all your strength and confidence here about something. Um, something you're waiting on. Yeah, the hermit energy. Hermit energy. So I feel like you're you're waiting on something. And it's like taking all your courage and strength to wait for this to come in. It's coming in. You know it's coming in. But it's like taking all your strength and willpower, you know, just waiting and waiting. Like the hermit kind of goes off on their own. It's like you see he's looking at the light like, okay, when is it coming? When is it coming? I know it's coming. But, you know, it's not quite here yet. All right. So what else for Libra? What else for Libra? The stars. So there's your wish fulfillment. Um, healing energy, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true. And the fates here with divinely guided energy with the star energy. So something divinely guided is coming to you. Whatever it is, it, that chapter is almost closing out. If you're waiting on something that's coming in for you, it's coming. But um, it's not quite there yet. The Six of Swords. So going into a much better place here. You know, sailing off into, you know, a healing, balancing energy. Much better place. Leaving all the BS behind. So I feel like, you know, you're going into a much better space. Something divinely guided coming in. But um, I think it's just taking you, like, you need to tame the beast from within. Maybe you're getting impatient um, about this coming in. It's like, you know, where is it? It's taking too long. Okay, what else do we have here? So we have the King of Wands energy. King or Queen, does it matter? So this is your advice. So I feel like here with the King of Wands, you know, standing in that fiery, passionate energy. And then you get the Nine of Wands, like feeling like the wounded warrior. It's like, don't give up. It's coming in. You know, keep on with that fiery, passionate energy. It is coming in. So not to give up, to keep fighting. Three of Swords energy. But it's the after tarot, so the swords are out of the heart. So it's no longer painful. So what else here, what else here, what else here for Libra? King of Pentacles. So again, now we got the King and Queen of Pentacles. So, wow, you're going to be so abundant, I think. <laughs> you're coming into something that is very, very abundant and ridding yourself of heartache and pain over here. But you're feeling like impatient, like where is it already, you know? But it's coming in, it's coming in, just not to give up. Wow, so what is your outcome here? <laughs> Rejoicing, celebrating, being happy. So it's coming in. You will be celebrating. You will be happy, joyous, celebrating, having a good time. Queen of Swords, that's your energy, standing in truth and clarity um, kind of energy. Cutting out the BS. It's right under that Three of Swords with the Swords out of the heart. So... You know, cutting away BS, things no longer serving you, standing with truth and clarity, speaking with truth and clarity, um, and just being in that truthful energy. Eight of Wands, so fiery, passionate energy moving forward. Moving forward, a lot of communication. Fiery, passionate communication moving forward. So whatever here... You know, truth and clarity will come to you. Whatever's divinely guided for you will come in. I feel like for some of you, you're waiting on a settlement or money or something like that. And maybe you've been waiting for a very, very long time. And you're like, when is it going to come? I know it's coming to me, but it's taking forever. But it is coming. So not to give up. If it's something you're fighting for, not to give up on that either. Because justice will prevail. You know, the Queen of Swords there is kind of like that divine energy. And there's a communication you know, coming in with the eight of 
wands energy and then you're celebrating so let's see yeah so death so something coming to an end and then a new start you got the sun back here for success and victory so something something here is going to eventually come to an end and you'll be getting what you been waiting for and there's going to be a transformation in your life yeah you need to balance out your energy here uh temperance is about patience and i had said that needing to have patience you know with the strength you know mustering up all your strength having this patience and tempering your energy yeah because you're not sure when is this coming when is it going to happen with the moon energy like you can't see clearly what's going to happen here but you know there's the knight of cups so moving forward with you know that loving compassionate energy uh, feeling at peace, harmony, kind of energy. And then, you know, you're feeling isolated, cold, and lonely right now because you're waiting, like you're waiting, you're standing there waiting, waiting, waiting. But then here comes the good news, the page of wands, the good news coming in. You've been waiting. Now things are moving forward, feeling very uh, at peace, harmonious, compassionate kind of energy. You know, even though you weren't sure what's going to happen here with the moon energy, but needing to, you know, balance out your energy, have patience because the transformation is coming with the death energy. So we have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Sag, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Earth energy here. Uh, let's see, Virgo, Leo, Sag, Aries, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio. So a lot of different energies here and then Capricorn up there. So, I mean, signs may not mean anything. I know people like to hear the signs, so that's what I see. So let's see. Let's get some closing messages for you. So whatever you're waiting on, whether it's, I don't know, uh, a final judgment is going to be made here with um, judgment there. So, and things will be going in your favor. And you'll be set, secure, stable. You won't have to worry. Just watch your energy of overindulgence and not spending wisely. I really feel like you're going to have to balance things wisely moving forward. But something will create a change here and close out this chapter. Something divinely guided for you coming in. Wow. Okay. So let's get some closing energies here for you, Libra. I do ask Libra if you like my style, the way I read. Please do like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love to read the comments. If you subscribe, hit the bell. You won't miss out on any future readings. I do four readings. Oh, how did these get over here? Four readings a month for every sign. So don't miss out on that. I do a love connection reading, singles reading, who's coming towards you, a tarot forecast like this, sometimes love, sometimes not. I do a spiritual reading every month. It could be messages from spirit or an angel reading or whatever I feel led to do. And I also just started a weekly element energy forecast. So if you're interested in all that, hit the bell. You won't miss out. Thank you to everybody for all your support. Whether you've tipped, donated, uh, reached out for personal reading, sent a gift, or just subscribed, thank you. I couldn't do it without you guys. So we have trust your trusting your intuition. My life is truly guided. So just trust and know that and guided there. Whatever is divinely guided coming in for you. Just trust, trust and know it's coming. Even though you may not, you know, you can't see what's beyond this uh, keyhole here, but just know it's coming in for you. You can see a little peak of the sun there. So opening to love, my heart is open. So I think you're, you know, things are going to be opening up for you, expanding for you here. This could be about love for some of you, if it makes sense in that way. And then igniting courage. I am strong, valiant, valiant, and courageous as we did have strength there. So, and on the bottom we have looking deeper. Deep within me is a majestic radiance. So, you know, look, looking deep into the situation, gaining perspective of the whole scenario here. As I feel a cycle is closing, something coming in for you that uh, will allow you to transform and change and being set and secure and abundant and stable okay libra wow so that uh that was your forecast at this time so good luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel it's to always always shine your light